On November 8th, Typhoon Haiyan made landfall on Leyte Island in the Philippines, the epicenter of the city of Tacloban. The results have been stunning. Over 5,000 people have perished. Over 4 million have been displaced. Pastor David E. Summerall has lived in the Philippines for over 30 years. His church, Cathedral of Praise, is partnering with Feed the Hungry Now to help with the relief efforts. And David E., how bad, how much damage has been done by Typhoon Haiyan? First of all, let me say thank you to all of the family and all of the partners of La Cie. When a tragedy like this begins to strike, it's, it's so overwhelming. It's, it's bigger than anything we've ever seen in our lives. We went home Friday night, canceled the service because this super typhoon was coming in, and basically we had a windy night and got up the next morning and went about our business and had services on Saturday. And, you know, to be honest, all of us were saying, whew, that wasn't so bad. You know, 56 people dying is difficult, but, uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. And then Sunday morning to be coming in from South Campus Service at 7.30 to the 10 o'clock at Maine and get the news alert come up, 10,000 dead. And then to begin to get the reports coming in that are just almost to the point of overwhelming. I don't think any of our viewers, any of our partners can begin to comprehend the, the devastation. It's like the biggest tornado you ever saw in your entire life just came and sat on top of cities for hours at a time. Thank God the typhoon moved as quickly as it did, but you, you must understand, entire cities are completely flattened. They're gone. Livelihood is gone. Food is gone. They have no idea on how many people have died. I think Takloban and some of the areas in Leyte and Samar have gotten most of the news, but Roja City, Kalibo, that entire section of islands is completely devastated. I was just told a few moments ago there would be no electricity for at least six months. We have an advance team down there right now, and they've already sent back the first pictures. They cannot even get overland by motorcycle from Ormuk to Takloban right now. It's just, it's just not possible. We have military teams standing by. We have trucks standing by that as soon as we can begin to get food into these areas, we want to go. So thank you so much. This, this is bigger than anything we've ever seen in our lives. And then in the midst of all this tragedy, to, to get an instant message from, from Pete saying, we're committing one million packages of food. You just, you want to sit down and cry. One million packages of food. And you see people looting and stealing. And, and I know all that sounds very offensive to you, but you know, families are trying, men are trying to feed their families. And to hear of one million packages of food for all of our partners of Feed the Hungry and all of our partners at Lassie, thank you so much for all of your love and all of your generosity. Pastor Sumrall, why is it so important for Christians and for the church to act in times like this? It is so important that as a church, we reach out to help the churches. When Feed the Hungry was started, I can still remember Uncle Lester standing in front of me with tears coming down his face and saying, when God's people cry out to their Heavenly Father for their daily food, we want to be there with that daily bread. And literally, that's what you're doing right now, let's see. For all of our partners of Feed the Hungry, let's see, that's what you're doing. One million food packages. We will be delivering these. We've got advanced teams down there already. We will be delivering these through the churches. And we don't care if they're Church of God, Assemblies of God, Baptist, Church of Christ. If they love Jesus, we want to go in and be that answer to prayer. Church to church, making sure that God's people are taken care of. The Bible says our first response, our first responsibility is to the brethren. David, as people are seeing the pictures, the devastation, the ongoing rebuilding efforts, they want to help. What specifically can our viewers do right now to help these suffering families there in the Philippines? The greatest thing each of our partners can do is pray. Pray for God to restore twofold all that has been destroyed. Pray for God to bring healing into the families. But then let's not have faith without works. The second thing that each of our partners can do is please go to a phone right now and call in and say, I want to make a pledge. I want to give to Feed the Hungry right now. One million food packets plus all of the shipping. This is an incredible expense. So I would look at you right now and tell you, 
There are tens of thousands of people right now that when I say they have nothing, I mean they have nothing. They're wandering around like zombies, not knowing what to do. Men are running wild in the streets trying to find food for their families. Let's go to those churches right now and be at God's hand extended, giving them their daily bread in Jesus' name. Again, from all of us in the Philippines, thank you to Lassie, thank you to Feed the Hungry and all of our partners in Jesus' name. Well, Pastor David Summerall, thank you so much for taking the time to join us as we try to coordinate Lassie Broadcasting's Feed the Hungry global release.